this is what sits over the end right here. Instead of gluing it at the end, which I, you know what, I guess you could, I um, actually cut out a little section. Um, okay, so like I was saying, I use my Dremel tool, which I would recommend buying. I think I pay you like 49 bucks for it. I mean, if you like to build stuff, this thing works for all sorts of stuff. And I use it for my airplanes. This stuff or whatever, it's just a handy tool to have. If not, you can do it by hand, which I would recommend using the, an X-Acto blade or those hobby knives with the pointed tip. Or you could probably do it with this, just cut out that thing. But Alright, so with the Dremel tool, it goes pretty fast. This is already the shape of the piece that I'm going to use. It's more or less the same size. So it's just going to go directly in the middle. See? That's all I did in that. Okay. This makes it quicker, easier. See? Then a piece sets right in there. Um, if you don't have one, then like I said, you can cut out with a razor blade. Or I guess you can just butt it up. To it. Just make sure when you butt it up, you, you cut this thing really flat, you know, so when you butt it up, you see right there, that piece is a little bit longer. I mean, maybe it's just me that I notice all this shit, but uh, just cut it smooth so all that stuff sits, fits flush. Uh, but I like it to be underneath because it's kind of, I like it to be inside because it helps hold it on there also. Because a lot of people are, when they see it, they always touch it on these things for some reason. So anyway, this is how you make the little bolt piece. Like I said, you're going to make, uh, let's see, yeah, eight of these. And four and four of these are here, and uh, let's go around and do the whole thing, and then you glue them on, and then you get to, and then you get to here. So that's where I left off of there before I messed up my video. Okay, next. Um, all right, next. If you see on the back, I have that part finished. Um, I have the little pieces coming down, a little round part on the hinge. Um, what I made is a bolt. Um, like I said before, you can use whatever you want, but I chose to do my, like, like this here. It's wooden, it's got the foam on the bottom, the half inch foam, and I'm going to glue it on like that. I'm not going to glue these on until the last minute because if I lean it over, it's probably going to break right off. So anyways, the, the wood that I used for this was actually a knob here I bought from Home Depot. Uh, these are really cheap, like 90 cents or something. So what I did on that is, um, if you look at it from the top, See, it's all flat. It's like a nut or whatever. Um, so anyway, what I did was that. Um, if you have one of these, or you can do it by hand, but it's going to take forever to sand it or whatever. As I did is ran my sand and drum wheel and just pushed it against it. Got a flat edge, turned it, you know, and then did it again and did it again. And then for the bottom part, if you look, the bottom here has got a flare to it. Well, on the actual note, I mean a uh, nut, it's not. I did the same thing. I sanded it off with my wheel. Um, just ran it on there. I got to a point where I got a rough cut and then I used my sanding tool, this thing here, and did the rest by hand. Um, I suppose if you don't have that, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, so if you have a better way of doing it, go for it. Or, you can use a real bolt, make, or you can make this head part out of styrofoam, you know, that would be just as easy and just as quick, you know. Um, I just liked it to be hard, you know, because people are grabbing on this too. Um, so whatever works for you, but to do the bolt, just do the regular bolt look. Do four, make a perfect square first, and then you and then you cut off the corners to and then get the bolt. Well, if you look at it from the side, see I got like a little bevel to it. I added that to it to kind of give it the, a little bit more of a bolt shaped look. So whether you use wood or foam, that's how I did that right there. Um, unless you got something else you want to use that's already a bolt. So, and also the bottom piece right here. It's just this stuff right here, half inch foam. It's the same stuff as this right here, but, you know, it's thicker. Um, you could just layer up a bunch of the thin stuff to get get the size of it, or just actually go ahead and get some of this. Um, and all you do is just, what I did on here is I cut out kind of a small section. I glued it down to it. I left it big. Well, it wasn't this big of a piece, but I left it big, let it glue dry. And then after that, um... I went with a razor blade, kind of trimmed off the excess part of it, and then I went and sand, started sanding the edges with this, with my sanding block, and just kept going over it until I got it to 
fit somewhat flush to the uh, to the wood. So all you need is to make two of these, and um, that'll be uh, done for the bolts. So after that, once after you get the bolts done, they go in the back, and the pieces on the side. And actually, the only thing left to do well, no, there's more to do. Um, which I have the lip to do on the bottom. I'm gonna do that last because setting this down on the ground it, it bends the lip if you do that. Um, on the very back, if you remember on the game or movie, there's like a big old bolt thing right here. So what I did is I made this right here. Same half inch foam. This is three layers thick. I cut out three circles, and this here is. Let me measure it. It's three inches. So this is three, and I think this one here is four. Eh, it's just under four inches. Whatever. So three inch circle and one just under four. And I let these glue overnight because I use a different kind of glue. I use like a um, uh, this stuff right here actually. Tacky glue. Because this stuff here, when I put it on there, I smeared it all over the whole thing. And the mass down on it. It's kind of like an Elmer's glue but really sticky. And I put some weight on it let it glue overnight. I guess I could have done it with a glue gun. But the glue gun, when you mash two pieces like that together, it doesn't really fit all flush unless it's really hot. I don't want to burn my foam. So I did these and let them sit overnight. Alright, then once they're done, um, I went over and sanded off the edges. Um, to get the round, either find something that's that shape, three inches round or four inches round, trace it and cut out with a razor blade. Just cut, you know, big, like you got something round. Instead of trying to take your blade and cut something round, you always cut straight angles first. Straight, 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 until you get like a hexagon look. You know, or, or kind of like cut it until you get it somewhat like this, you know. Alright, and then from there, you can sand the corners and then start getting the round shape of it that way. That's how I did my other one, the pyramid head. But this one here, I actually have that foam cutter tool I bought. Uh, I use my airplane stuff and it cuts circles. So I just stick it on and it cuts them out. Anyway, so that's that part there. Um, these two are going to glue together like this, and then it's going to go on the back like that. And then when you look at it from the side, it's going to be the bolt. Okay, now this piece here is actually like a gear or something, so I'm going to have to cut that out by hand. Um, you just, I'm just going to draw it out with a marker, the lines, and just take my razor blade and cut out each little piece by hand. And I'm going to go through and sand it and, you know, get the edges all pointed and stuff so it looks like a gear. Um, unless you have a different way of doing it, then go for it. Once that piece is done, this gets covered up by a piece of uh, this stuff here. Quarter inch. I cut out just a little bit smaller than this, and I set it on top, and it kind of gives it like a cap look. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but anyway, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start this, get this gear done. And this piece goes on here. To get this on, I cut out a circle. Uh, and then it actually goes inside of there, and I glue it. Also, on the back, there's another ring that goes around. It's fairly about maybe an inch thick or something. It goes all the way around it, and it goes around this piece here. So if this is just not sticking in there, you got this, and then you have another piece around it. And uh, I'm going to start working on that now so you can get an idea what it is. All right, next, I cut out my little ring. This is what the piece is going to go on the bottom of that gear-looking thing to give it a three-dimensional look. This ring is five inches diameter, and the inside is, of course, three inches. So this right here fits in there. And then what I did is later on here, find the center. And the way I spaced it from here to here, just I just eyeballed it, just found something that looked decent. So I set it right there, and just found the middle, just pulled it back and forth until it looked about right, and I measured it from here to here. You know, made sure it's like an inch there, whatever it was, and over here, just make it equal. It don't have to be perfect, but just whatever looks good, eyeballed, or do you. And uh, that's it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out and uh, go ahead and get the other piece in. Then I can glue this on and then slide this in there. Now I'm going to cut that. All right, you can see I started cutting it out. When you start doing this, cut. start inside the line a good bit and cut it. Because if you do it on the line, once you start making turns on it, it gets real, makes a jagged edge. So go ahead and cut that. And then once you get, that, get the uh, big part cut out, you can notch out a little bit more, but don't go up to the line yet. Just kind of trying to get it close as you can to the line. Once you get all that part cut out, then you want to take a piece of sandpaper and just sand it smooth and, um, and get it right up along the line there. So you have a nice round smooth ring. So when cutting this, don't get to the edge. 
All right, see, now I'm starting to sand this here. It's starting to get smooth. This is how it looks like this, as far as I cut it to the edge. It's all jagged. So now I'm going to do is just keep on sanding until I get on my mark. And then uh, test fit my 3 inch piece. All right, so here it is with the hole cut out. It took a little bit of trimming and uh, to get it, a, you know, for my little 3 inch piece to fit. When you're cutting it, um, instead of cutting straight like this, if you cut it straight, this is the two pieces put together in an angle. So naturally, if you cut it straight, the inside portion here is going to stick in more. So instead of cutting it straight like this, turn your bl turn your blade like this. And so you're cutting it so there's, it's kind of flaring the inside of it. So that way this piece, when you slide your 3 inch in there, it'll fit in, fit in there easily. If you cut it just a straight on, looking at it straight on, you'll have an inside lip that's a little bit thicker, if that makes sense. So anyway, so you want to go and put this piece in here. And then when that's in there, you take your ring, set it on there, and then make your split on there so it bends up the uh, mark there. And then you go ahead and glue that in. Um, when I glued this in, I glued it like the actual 3 inch piece, I glued like from the inside only. Um, if you look at it, see how it's like that? I went around with the thing and glued. Uh, reason was, if I was to go around with the bead of glue on the outside here, that bead would prevent this piece from sitting flush. So all you need is just to glue it from the inside. And then you go ahead and put this piece on there, and then glue this ring down. And then that'll be that part there. All right. And then, I still haven't cut this yet. All right, from there, then you can work, start working on this piece and cutting the, the gear shape. And then getting it on there like that. And that's kind of how it looks. It's going to look when it's, um, when it's done. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do for today. This, I'm going to actually start cutting on this, but this takes a long time to do. Uh, so I'm going to cut it by hand, and I'm going to sand up the parts on it. So, that's what I'm going to do for today. And uh, after, after that, I'll just have to put the gear on. The little uh, little cap piece that goes for it. Um, just a little quarter inch. And then the bolt, and then, which I've already done. And then i got to do the lip that goes around it. And that will be pretty much all of it for the whole costume. And also this little split, of course, you got to put some filler in there. It's a putty. Fill that in. And that'll be it. Then I'll be ready to paint it. So that's all for today. And I'll be back posting again soon.